My main motivation is I have um, a big interest in anaesthesia and critical care medicine and when I saw this opportunity and the proposed schedule it was I was very excited. And now we're staying in the ICU and it's interesting as well also because I've been to the ICU in Italy so see the differences and compare, it's great. The civis uh, network and uh, these programs we are running here are very important for the students to interact with um, other countries, other universities, but also for the lectures we really share um, uh, the knowledge and we um, uh, have the simulations together. Experimenting the uh, feelings you have inside a, an ICU by yourself when you have to uh, make decisions uh, is something that I think is really, really useful and something that I would have waited years to have uh, for the first time, but with this opportunity I can do it right now. So far it's been fantastic. Um, everyone's been very warm and welcoming. I really enjoy the fact that there are teachers from across Europe and the world, so you get to not only learn these new skills but learn slightly different ways of doing it um, and hearing about how uh, different countries approach the same problem. So for me it's been hugely beneficial to see how not only patients are managed but the way staff are organised, you know, the management of the units, the structure of the, the cadre, the medical and, and nursing cadre and so on. The students are really doing perfect, so they come from different uh, levels of knowledge, they come from different uh, semesters and so on, but uh, the uh, team spirit is really great and putting all the knowledge together is uh, uh, making all our patients here in the simulation survive so far. The main topic is um, it, it's uh, the science, ethics and regulation of genome editing and human genome editing. And it's interesting to see in the last 10 years how much work has speeded up. And this is bringing uh, a lot of kind of ethical issues and concerns. I'm also going to talk about the social consequences of these new technologies. Um, what kind of problems they raise for populations, for politics, at the collective level. So um, I read more about um, this program in details and it really intrigued me, especially because I'm a biochemistry student and I do study some of genetics and I think like, um, it's a great chance for me to learn more on the ethical side, the social science. Mm, yeah, yeah, my favourite must be the ethics uh, and how um, we, when we come in day one, we all have our different ideas of the ethics uh, and how we can build upon it, recognise maybe uh, we didn't think something through over here uh, or seen in a different view or a different perspective from different angles. Uh, Tübingen is amazing. It looks like a city from the fairy tales. Uh, it's uh, interesting to see a big university, a historic, historic university. Today we did some punting on the River Eka and it was definitely one of the highlights of the trip. I love Tübingen. Place. It's like a postcard and I would come back as uh, at a heartbeat. 